Hi guys, it's Christine, also known as Ivy Winner. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today, I want to talk about all the things that are announced at the Theme Park and Resorts D23 panel. That happened today, today being the 15th. Um, this possibly will be going out tonight or tomorrow. You might be seeing this a day later. But, huge announcements, huge, huge announcements happened across the board for all of the parks and I just want to talk about them. So, the biggest one for me, and I think for most people, is Star Wars Land. Disneyland and Disney World are both getting 14-acre Star Wars Lands. And they finally showed some uh, concept art. They talked a little bit about the rides and the attractions that are going to be there. This is something that everyone speculated and kind of already knew. There was a lot of hints to it. We kind of knew this was coming. They already said that they were going to make a really big Star Wars themed area. We just didn't know what that meant or what it was. And now they finally have announced it. They're going to have uh, themed buildings and the cantina. There's going to be a ride where you can pilot the Millennium Falcon, which sounds amazing. There's going to be another experience where you get to be in a battle. They've yet to give details really about that, but that sounds really interesting. I know that Walt Disney World is getting a new fireworks show that is going to be set to the music of Star Wars. That is going to be amazing. I am so excited for that. Just the thought of it got me really pumped. I think Hollywood Studios really needs a new nighttime show. You know, we have Fantasmic, and they are running that Frozen show that's like part stage show, part fireworks. But from what I've heard, I haven't seen it yet, but from what I've heard, the stage show is most of it, and the fireworks is a very small part of it. And I think that Hollywood Studios could really use fireworks. And if you're going to do it to anything, do it to Star Wars. I think that's the kind of emotional experience that you get from Wishes or Illuminations in a nostalgic way in the same way as like wishes when you're hearing all of the different theme songs and all of that and kind of gets you because it tugs at your heartstrings because it's something that you love i think star wars can definitely tug at your heartstrings i think it's gonna be great um, on disneyland side they're going to have something called season season of the force they haven't said when this is going to fall in the year maybe it'll be like a christmas time thing but they're going to have, instead of Space Mountain, Hyperspace Mountain, which sounds like they're going to be theming the ride to a Star Wars theme at a certain time of the year. Much like they do Haunted Mansion, they'll do the Night Before Christmas theme at a certain time of the year. So that'll be really cool. That got me excited. Something to bring me back to Disneyland after my first trip next weekend, but we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Toy Story Land. So that's going to be an 11 acre land that is going to be expanding somewhere around Toy Story Midway Mania in Hollywood Studios. We don't really know where. It's kind of hard to tell by the concept art where in the park it's going to be, so now I'm sure everyone's going to speculate. We know there will be a Little Green Alien ride. That sounds super exciting. You get to pilot a UFO. That's going to be really cool. There's going to be a family-friendly coaster based on Slinky the Dog. And that's cool because, you know, Hollywood Studios has a lot of thrill rides, and I think it would be nice to have something that's a little bit more family-friendly. And overall, I'm excited to explore an entire land dedicated to Toy Story. I think it's great with the new movie coming out, Toy Story 4, which has been planned for a while. I think it will be great for the older visitors like myself who think back to one, and it will be great to the younger visitors who might be, you know, introduced to Toy Story with 4. I think it's going to be really cool. So that's super exciting. That's a lot of big changes for Hollywood Studios, a park that I think a lot of people have been worried about. There's been a lot of closures, and even though we know it's because of expansions, I think people were concerned because they're feeling like it's even less than a half-day park. It's not worth the money or the time. And I think that Disney is really trying to say, we have a plan. This is going to be great. Give us some time, because you know it's going to be a few years. They haven't announced when it's going to happen yet. Um, I think it's going to be great. Also, Toy Story Midway Mania is going to get yet another track to help cut down ride wait times, which is always a good move in my book. I think that's awesome. Epcot, they are going to be getting Soaring Around the Soaring? Soarin', let's say that the right way. Around the World. That's actually going to come out next year, so that's going to be one of the newest updates to an attraction. It's going to be a whole new video going around the world. They're also going to be adding another theater, I've heard to also cut down on wait times. So that's gonna be really cool. 
I'm not a big Soren fan. I think it's okay. It's cool for one or two times. I'm not one of those people who needs to go on it every time I go to Disney World. But this new video will bring me back. And I think if they update the technology and the screens and all of that, that would be really, really great for Epcot. I'm sure there's going to be more future changes for Epcot. There definitely needs to be other upgrades. But right now, that's a really cool thing to have down the pipeline. Animal Kingdom, they talked about Avatar Lands, and they talked about an expansion to Kilimanjaro Safaris. I want to talk about that first. I think that's really awesome. I love Kilimanjaro Safaris. I've always had great experiences on there. It feels very genuine. It's great to be near the animals. You have guides that are incredibly knowledgeable about these animals. And to be able to travel deeper in and see more animals, they're going to add hyenas and uh, African wild dogs. I think that's super exciting. They are also going to have a new nighttime show called Rivers of Life. They were talking about how it's going to start small and then build up and be all these animals and they're going to be like projected in water, which kind of made me think of Fantasmic. That sounds really cool. And then I realized nighttime show. Animal Kingdom is not normally open at night or not that late at night, unless you're going in wintertime where it gets dark early. Animal Kingdom's closing is usually around 5 or 6 p.m. It's not really a nighttime park because of the animals. But if you can provide nocturnal animals that you can see at night, and you can provide a night show, and you can provide a new area, like Avatar Land, that is meant to be experienced both in, both in the daytime and the nighttime, totally makes sense to expand hours. So I'm really excited about that. I'm a little skeptical about Avatar Land, only because I was not a big fan of the movie. I felt like I've seen the story again, <laughs> Pocahontas, <laughs> Fern Gully. Um, seen it already before. Um, it's a very long movie. It's like three hours, maybe a little bit more. I think it could be a little bit shorter. It was fine. I don't know if I'd ever go back and watch it again. But, you know, I get it. It makes sense. Pandora kind of seems to fit to me in the Animal Kingdom. I believe Joe Rohde, who is the Imagineer, has been working on Animal Kingdom since the beginning. I'm sure that it's going to be awesome. I'm just skeptical because it's something that doesn't pique my interest. I also feel like the movie came out so long ago that I wonder who's still going to be interested. Um, I feel like when it was announced, it was like building up on right after the movie came out, and it's been so many years. It's like, how relevant is Avatar anymore? I don't know. Maybe another movie's coming out. Maybe that'll coincide. I don't know. We'll see. Moving on from the parks in the United States, a lot of the other announcements were international parks. So they talked a lot about Disneyland Shanghai. It's going to have 16 lands. Some are like the ones that we have here. Some will be all new. They're going to have a Pirate's Land. That sounds awesome. I'm really jealous. They're going to have a Tron coaster that looked really weird, but we'll see how that comes out. They're going to have a lot of cool new stuff. They're going to have, I believe it's going to be Snow White's Castle, if I'm correct. And it's going to have a restaurant in it. You can travel to the top of the castle. There's going to be a water ride under the castle. Like, they're really building in the castle as part of the experience, which is something that I always wished for Disney World and, I guess, Disneyland. You're more involved with the castle. It's not just... It's not just a landmark to look at. They also talked about um, an Iron Man ride that's also going to be coming out, I think, for Hong Kong, if I'm correct. I'll have to double check on that. Kind of reminded me of Spider-Man in Universal. I said it looks like it's going to be Spider-Man steroids um, because now we have way better technology than they did when they made that back then. So I'm sure it's going to be amazing. So that was cool. It's cool to hear some of the international stuff. I've never been to any of the international parks, but it makes me want to go. So I talked earlier about how I'm going to Disneyland, and I said it's going to be my first time. This is happening next weekend. Um, I'm going to be vlogging. I'm going to be periscoping. So if you follow me on Ivy Winter YT, you'll be able to follow my periscopes. Uh, Rob at Rob Plays That Game is also going to be periscoping. We're going to definitely periscope our meetup. We're having a meetup that is happening on August 22nd. That's next Saturday. I'm so excited. 1 p.m. in Disneyland, probably around Main Street. I think we're still trying to figure out exactly where. So if you're on the West Coast and you're coming, please follow us on Twitter. We will definitely let you guys know exact details as that weekend comes and I'm so excited it's my first time in Disneyland it's Rob's first time in Disneyland it is a week away I can't even believe that and I'm really excited to go so 
after all of that, all of this news, new theme park stuff, I'm sure there's things that I'm not even thinking of that I haven't even touched upon. There were so many things that were announced. Um, but I want to know what you're excited about, what stood out to you, what your thoughts are on Toy Story Land, Star Wars Land. Um, maybe you like Avatar Land a lot. Let me know. Tell me why. You think that's going to be a great thing or a bad thing? I want to hear it all. Leave your comments below. Tweet at me at IvyWinterYT. Let me know all the feels, guys. All the feels. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day.